Hello, hello, happy birthday everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. How are you doing today? How are you celebrating your birthday today? Because every day is your birthday. How are you today? Right, today, um, I decided that the 10 minute limit is a good hard limit for me uh, for a number of reasons, but we're gonna to stick to it today. Um, I'm handheld at the moment because I'm gonna flip the camera around in a moment because we're gonna talk about leadership today. Um, the Blinkist book of the day today is um, about leadership um, and it's a really really good book so go and listen to the Blinkist book of the day. I've also listened to uh, today this morning um, a book called Hooked, I think it's called Hooked anyway, it's also linked in the description um, about how to make products um, that are addictive effectively. Um, Facebook, you're looking at it right now, uh, is a, an addictive product um, but basically how to make an, in, in an ethical way of course. And morning Adele, <laughs> going to change things around a little bit slightly again today. Um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a constructive way and actually the end chapters of the Blink uh, in Hooked actually talks about how to ethically, how to ask questions to make sure that your product is ethically addictive. Uh, basically if you're trying to help somebody um, and you're positively improving their lives and if the product that you're selling is something that you would also use um, then you're pretty safe in that respect. Um, it's uh, definitely something I want to, want to work on. I have a, an idea for an app, um, I think I talked about it a few weeks ago, um, which would basically use your phone as a really, really good tool to um, help you to manage your life uh, better, do focus on good habits um, and all that kind of stuff, rather than allowing your phone to be the bad habit you're trying to avoid using. Uh, it becomes a tool to help you move your life forward. But of course, the problem is I need money and I need a developer. So um, if anybody watching this knows anybody who's either got some money or some developers um, and wants to get involved in turning this item that you probably have in your hand right now, uh, from being a, uh, a drain on your time to a life improving tool of your time. Okay, so that's me leading a little bit to a certain extent, but I want to turn the camera around a little bit because it's really frosty out here today, as you can probably see. Um, um, but I wanted to talk about pathways a little bit as well. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and you're going to see behind me, um, uh, or in front of me, in fact, behind you, <laughs> um, a little pathway through a couple of mounds of hills here. Um, okay, so bear with me a second. Okay, so you can see here, um, there's a mound here on the left and a mound here on the right. Um, obviously you can go that way around them. Uh, in theory, you could go obviously this way around as well. Um, but if you're walking from where I am right now, um, you could either go around there and it's kind of a long way around, or you can go right through the middle there. And you can see there's actually three lines of people. People have gone down the middle, people have gone down the left, and people have gone down the right. Um, but effectively, these mounds are leading um, the, the followers uh, through a pathway. Um, uh, which, uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's leading you through a pathway. And you're obviously doing this in your life as well. You're setting a pathway for other people to follow um, your example. Um, I talk about this in, in a habit sense. I'm going to flip the camera around now and go back to my normal standing position. Um, uh, in a habit sense. So this happens inside your brain as well. Um, you have pathways in your brain that you've been used to and you've been using for many, many years. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. I didn't see who that was. I don't think it was Adele though. Um, oh, there's a second viewer on there. It's a bit cold, a bit chilly, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, you have pathways in your brain that you've wired. Years and years and years you've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. You've got this habit, you've got this addiction to doing this one thing that you've all been doing the whole time. Um, and you have to break that habit if you want to do something different. So if you want to change your habits and do something new, um, you've got to do something different. Um, and the only way they could do that um, is to, to walk a different path. So you have to climb over those mountains on the left there or take the longer route around and choose not to go down the short path down the middle um, that I was showing you about a minute ago. Um, and, and you just have to do that repeatedly over and over and over again. And eventually, um, again, you can just about see that, that area in the middle there will grow up. The grass will grow higher, the brambles, will, the weeds will go, grow into this part way, this path of your mind. Um, and eventually it becomes harder to go through the old path than it will be going through the new path. Um, and so then you'll choose automatically the new path. And that's what this book Hooked, Hooked was talking about. Um, it's about forging these, about creating new addictions, basically. You're looking at a, um, a trigger um, and a reward um, and then investment. Now it talks about not necessarily investment. This is quite, quite key as well because it talks about not investing necessarily money, but money, time or... I mm, can't remember what the other one was, but see, this is... <laughs> remember when I said about writing notes? <laughs> this is one of those moments when I should have written notes. Um, this was yesterday's conversation, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, go and look at the Blinkist book of the day. Um, uh, not Blinkist book of the day, hooked in Blinkist. But if you've got a month free trial of Blinkist, you'll be able to read it in there. Uh, and I'll post the, 
the, the, the points in the comments if I remember later on. Uh, but that's the idea. You got to, there's four point, there's four points to it. <laughs> um, let's get my fingers out properly. Um, there's a, there's a, a, a trigger. Um, somebody's invited you to go and use Facebook for the first time. Uh, there's um, a reward um, for looking at pretty pictures of, of your friends and family and whatever. Uh, and there's a um, an investment so once you put your own photographs in there and you build your social following there's there's an investment in there and then there's a there's a loop feedback loop and i can't remember what the feedback loop thing is but it's basically now you want to go back to the beginning and start again um and that creates this this habit uh, loop um in your life um and if, if you want to change your uh ways going forward uh then you have to um <laughs> sorry uh, uh yes so you have to um lead yourself you have to become a self-leader to uh choose different paths you have to be aware of the fact that you've got these addictions you're fairly where you've got a habit that you've that you need to overcome already you make some need to make new choices you need to make a different choose a different path um uh, and then you have to repeatedly go the old path or the new path rather and stop going on the old path as much as possible so that's when the habits form um and it takes somewhere between uh well it takes they sort of say it's a minimum of 21 days. That's where that 21 days to form a habit thing came from. But it's actually uh, an average of 66 days. Um, and I always say, carry it through to 90 days. You know, do a 90-day plan and then your habit will stick um, going forward. Or at least it should stick anyway. It depends on the habits slightly as well. Um, and the other triggers in your life as well because you've also got to do other things as well. For example, if you're trying to give up smoking and you're always around smokers, you're just going to be tempted all the time, aren't you? Um, so maybe you have to reduce the amount of time you spend with those people uh, and that's stuff like that. Uh, but you also have to be a self-leader. So that's that's where that comes into as well. Whilst you, it's good to be leading other people, you also have to be leading yourself. Um, so that's kind of the message from today. Um, <laughs> hopefully that was been useful. Um, I had another point, which I've completely forgotten about now. Where was I going with that? Um, triggers, habits. Uh, um, can't remember doesn't matter um that's a good enough point i think on its own right adele you've been watching uh feel free you give me some hearts so i'm guessing it's good enough i think the hearts come straight away um and uh, the comments come about two minutes later um maybe 30 seconds later or something like that anyway um the Espresso uh video today from uh evan carmichael was about uh following a leader as well it's about um finding somebody who you can follow uh, for yourself. So if you're looking to achieve something, find somebody who's already done it and model whatever they've done. So in his case, he was running a software company and he was looking at Bill Gates. So how, build, how did Bill Gates get started? What was his zero to seven million strategy? Uh, and it was partnering with another hardware firm who was already selling stuff and getting his software included into their hardware. Um, and that's how he moved his company forward. So then Evan Carmichael did the same thing. He said, found somebody who could sell his software on their product uh, and then that's how he got started as well so it's modeling people who have already done it um and uh so that's kind of a cool and it's a nice little link into the uh blinkist book of the day which is about leadership uh, and the topic of the day which is about changing habits and moving forward so um that's basically it from me today um oh the only other point is uh, who, who not to follow so we talked about this briefly on the smoking thing um and uh, tony robbins always says this he says um if you want to be successful find people who are unsuccessful and do the opposite of whatever they do. Um, or, or in his case, he was saying, um, find out what people who are unsuccessful are reading and don't read whatever they're reading. Um, typically, um, newspapers and watching news and uh, soap operas and stuff tend to be people who are generally, un generally unsuccessful. Just a generalisation, massive generalisation. I probably turned people off by saying that, um, but there you go. Um, okay, uh, finishing off with happy birthdays, which I... Um, meant to do at the beginning of this, but no, yeah. Um, Stuart Nunn, happy birthday to you, mate. Um, parents of anxiety, anxious children. Um, Danka, I'm not sure where I know you from. Uh, Deirdre is in Northern Ireland, I think, or Ireland somewhere anyway. I'm not sure where I know you from. Sean Paul, I don't know what, where you know you from. Martin Zeal, we talked about doing adverts once upon a time, um, but never finished that off. Um, Catherine Turner does a podcast on, um, <laughs> um, uh, leverage, uh, life leverage, um, which is really kind of cool, uh, outsourcing and stuff. Um, uh, Simon Meadows, not sure about you, I'm afraid, and Moss Wilson also, don't know about you, but happy birthday to all of you guys. Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. Hope you're having a lovely day uh, going forward. Um, the only other thing I was going to say, because I've started looking through people's um, comments, uh, so through people's profiles, is you could say more, more about on your profiles about what you actually do. It would be really useful, <laughs> because then I can shout out to you and tell people what you do. Um, but uh, sometimes it take, it, I just can't tell from what you're doing. Anyway, that's all from me. I've run out of time. Take care. Love you all. Take care for now. Have a nice...
Friday. Bye.